For most of us, our research journey will consist of milestones that have been laid out by our school or discipline group. At set points, we might have to choose a topic, do a lit review, write a proposal and design an experiment or two, do some data collection or archival work, and right at the end, write it up and submit. It's great to have these milestones, to have deadlines and a structure that you can work through to keep you motivated. But sometimes only thinking in terms of these milestones give you a false impression about what the research and writing process is all about. Just meeting the milestones alone makes it look as though the process of writing a thesis or dissertation is all about spending the majority of your time researching and then trying to cram in all the writing work right at the end. This can cause problems because for most of us, the most difficult job we have to do as researchers is to turn ideas into language. Like Anthony Paré points out, most written texts do not emerge fully formed. They are crafted, composed, and unfold through the process of transforming ideas into language. And the best way we can refine our thinking is to do regular writing throughout the research and writing process. We need lots of opportunities to test ideas out before submitting them for review or for examination. What's missing from this picture is not only more time for writing, but time for thinking as well. For me, it's better to look at the process not in a linear way, but as cyclic. In this way, it's great when you have a chance to do some writing, think about what you've written, do some reading and research or look at some data, and then think about that and then do some more writing and so on. So what counts as regular writing? Well, there's note taking and note making. The distinction I make between those two is that note taking is just writing down what someone says. Note making means turning that information into your own words. But also you could be doing mind mapping, brainstorming, outlining, free writing, drafting and editing. And again, the most important thing to concentrate on is doing that work of experimenting through writing. So having lots of opportunities to turn your ideas into language. You can get more study tips and advice on the Study Smarter website. Brought to you by UWA Student Services.